This Kellaland Living segment is sponsored by Levitt at the Falls, building community through music. Coming together to listen to some of the best in the world of music is always a welcome idea. And thanks to one local nonprofit, week after week, Kelloland locals are able to catch free music in the great outdoors. To fill us in on this weekend's Levitt at the Falls concerts is President and CEO Nancy Halverson. And joining us via Zoom as she makes her way to Sioux Falls is Saturday night's headliner, Naja Nicole. Between Nancy, Naja, and the rest of the Levitt team, plus the weekend's additional musical artists, this weekend is sure to be a ton of fun. That's exciting. <laughs> Lots of things going on, isn't Thanks, there? Mitchell. We're in week 10 of the summer, if you can believe it. Wow, week 10 already? Yeah. How many yeah. weeks total do you have? So we have about 16 weeks total, okay. so more than halfway. More than halfway. Yeah. That is so exciting. Naja, thank you so much for being here as well. It's so good to see you. What a career you have had. I had the <laughs> uh, pleasure of, of just doing a deep dive into all the different things that you've done. You, you've been singing since you were what? You know, I, I think you said... Uh, a little well, girl in church. Tell yeah. me how you got your start singing. Let's hear how it started. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for having me. I'm really excited to meet everyone and, and get to the Midwest for the first time. Um, but I started, I've been singing all my life, um, but I started officially when my parents forced me into the church choir <laughs> <laughs> at 12. And I was terrified and not very social. And I just fell in love with it. Wow, you your voice is so versatile. I mean, it, everything from jazz to, I don't even know what genre would best represent you. There are so many that do. It, it, you could almost slip into any one, but what do you describe your style and genre as? You know, most most of my life I've considered myself um, an R&B, neo-soul, soul singer, um, but I feel like I'm more soul now, um, mostly because I focus heavily on just my emotions mm. and where I am in that moment when I'm writing music. So sometimes it can come out as rock soul or jazz soul or, you know, R&B and soul. So it, it really depends on where I am in that moment. Right. And like I said, you've had such a career and it's gone so, in so many directions. And right now you're in this um, this uh, wave of, of singing in jazz festivals and events like this. What what do you think is next? Is this your is this where you're headed? Is, is this the style of music that you that you want to do for the rest of your career? I think it is. Um, I'm, I'm definitely open to growing and changing. But right now, this is where my heart has settled. And I'm really happy with that. So I, I think this is where we'll be. <laughs> good, good. Tell me, tell us and tell the uh, the viewers and listeners what they'll be able to uh, to hear this weekend uh, while you're on the stage. So actually, I will be debuting all new original music. Wow. I'm very excited. Um, these have, these songs are very close to my heart. They're very personal. Um, but one thing that I love is that they're songs that everyone can relate to. I, I pride myself in being able to bring out those emotions people are afraid to let shine and let have that moment. So we're going to be out there together just feeling it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love that, that you've uh, written original music for this. What a great treat that everybody in, in this area is going to be able to get. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to hear some of your music coming up. But Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, what can you tell us about the rest of the weekend? Oh. So this this starts Thursday night. Yes. It kicks off. Hard you know? to believe, right? <laughs> yeah. So tonight we're starting with White Hot and Blues. Okay. They're actually a 90s band from this area. Oh, really? And they had taken a break, and they've just come back together, and I think we're only like their second or third show back together. Wow. So we're really excited because a lot of people remember them from yeah. the day, right? The yeah. pump room and all of that. Yes. So they'll be back on the stage. Very cool. Great fun. And then tomorrow night, mm -hmm. Friday, we have Babes in Canyon, and they're a group from Seattle. Okay. They started in kind of a folk indie pop sound oh, nice. so the harmonies are incredible that's what i was most excited about when i first heard them wow saturday morning will be our final kids show of the season and that's with our great phil baker He's everybody great. knows phil baker sure. right what all of our guy. kids have grown up with phil baker sure and then of course on saturday night naja and yes. you know i discovered her some time ago she was a finalist on the voice in season nine okay and i have followed her career ever since and i'm so excited to meet her in person yes yes that is i will 
was watching videos last night, and what a singer. I mean, the voice, it yes. just she can do so many things with that voice. Um, I'm so excited to hear more um, this weekend. So tell me, the, the Levitt stage, actually, you're going to be having some kind of an addition to it. Is that correct? Yes, we are. Okay. We're building on a whole public programming space that'll be indoors. Oh, Yay. really? <laughs> an indoor space? Okay, so uh, which direction is this going to build so out? So if you are looking at the stage, it would be on the right-hand side. Okay. Like there's kind of a ramp there now, yeah. but it'll be on that side and it will allow us to do programs all year round which wow. we're really excited about but it will also allow us when we have big festivals in the summer like our all my relatives festival last weekend right. with a fashion show with 50 models right. it, it will allow us space to be able to really grow into everything we're doing wow it's such a great thing to have the levitt here in sioux falls how many years now have have concerts been happening at the levitt this is our sixth year of programming of course we did have a covid year where we weren't at the venue. We were all over the community. Mm -hmm. But yeah, hard to believe. Six years in already. Six years. You're right. That first year probably was a bit different. Yes. But now you've had a solid five years of, of seeing yeah. how it works. And the people, the, the crowds, they love the music. Thank and they, they just think it's, I think it's so wonderful that this is here in Sioux Falls. Um, what what do you think, um, what do you do to, to choose these, these artists? How do you pick them? You know, I'm listening to music all the time. All the time. And, and following people's career to see when I think they're going to be ready to be on our stage you know especially local artists we really want to embrace them and lift them up but I want to make sure that they're ready because right. it's a big stage of and if course. you're not prepared for that it can really be scary that's um, a good point point. and then some artists like Nadja where I just hear them and just really feel like they're going to connect with our yeah. community yeah are there opening bands and opening acts for some of the the uh, performances that you have? Yes, so every show we always have an opening act. So we're excited to really give young artists that opportunity to be okay. on the stage. And those are local people usually? Yes, and they're all listed on our website so people can follow them as well. What a great way to uh, to allow people in the community to get out there, like you say, and be on such an enormous stage. Yeah, it, it's a big deal, right? If For years, if you've been looking at people on these big stages and finally it's your turn, it's really a growth opportunity for our local artists. It really is. Well, I'm looking forward to it. What other things are there at the event? There's food, there's vendors, there's all sorts of different things. Food trucks all the time. You know, people can bring a blanket, and just hang yes. out. We rent chairs if they'd like. Okay. So we really look forward to people just making a night of it. Yes. Is there a way that people can donate to, uh, to of the... Of course. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> yes, we have our Friends of Levitt program, and people can donate by writing a check to us or just online. Wow, I love that. Love it. Thank you so much, Nancy, Thank for you. being here. Thank you, Najia, as well. If you're headed to the Levitt this weekend, food and beverage vendors will start serving at 6.30 p.m. You can bring your own picnic with you if you wish. Outside alcoholic drinks will not be allowed into the grounds, but will be available for purchase on site. Bring a chair, rent a chair, or grab a blanket to sit on. Your pet is welcome as long as it's on a leash. All Levitt concerts are free to the public, though a bucket will be passed during the evening for free will donations. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Levitt at the Falls, building community through music.